Hey guys, it's Bart Johnson here, and I am so excited. I am finally here in Las Vegas, getting ready to go out and check out the NAB Show 2015. The exhibits open up tomorrow. Uh, I just arrived today, got myself all checked into my hotel room here, and I wanted to show you guys some of the gear that I brought with me for all of the exclusive interviews that I'm gonna be conducting over the next three days on the show floor. So let me show you what I got. If we come through here, you can see here, here we are, lovely view of Las Vegas Strip out there. But anyway, what I'm going to be doing over the next several days, like I said, is I'm going to be conducting interviews with some of the top vendors uh, at the show. Um, I've got a ton of them lined up and I'll be bringing them all to you via this YouTube channel. But to do that, I had to bring a lot of gear with me, but I traveled only by myself and only with what I could fit on the airplane. So I had to kind of pick and choose what I packed. So I want to show you guys what I brought with me. So I have everything laid out here on my bed so you can kind of see what I'm working with here. There we go. So I didn't have a whole lot of space, but I managed to cram as much as I could into the bags that I had on me. Uh, so when I'm shooting my interviews, my primary camera here is going to be my Canon XF300. It's an ENG style camera. I absolutely love this camera. It's going to be great for this kind of work. I left my 5D at home because I didn't want to deal with all the lenses. And uh, when you're operating by yourself, sometimes that super shallow depth of field is not the best because I want to make sure my interviews are in focus. Uh, so I have that camera there. Um, and then I'm going to be using a Manfrotto 502 head and I have a set of Manfrotto carbon fiber legs. Uh, keep everything lightweight so that I won't get bogged down carrying this around. Um, then for audio, I brought myself a couple of choices. I have my Sony wireless lavalier mics here. And I love using these, but they do take a little time to get everybody clipped up. So I'm going to use these when I can, when I have time to get everybody mic'd up. But if I don't have time and I have to go really quick, I also have the Sony wireless handheld mic. So this will pair with one of the receivers as well, and I can feed that into the camera. If I need to go quick, I can just do um, a handheld kind of interview there. And in here are the actual lav mics. I keep them in dollar store Q-tip containers. So that's a quick tip if you need a cheap way to store your microphones. Um, the second camera is the one that I'm using right now. It's actually my GoPro Hero 4 uh, Black Edition. And right now I am recording on it on my Lampart gimbal and I'm monitoring what I'm recording via my iPhone. So I'll probably use this to get some, some smooth B-roll footage uh, around the convention center. It's real quick, it's real light, and the gimbal keeps everything pretty stable. Uh, I'm actually gonna be talking with Lampart, the makers of this gimbal, um, and seeing if they have any other new cool stuff coming out. So I'm really looking forward to that. I believe I'm talking with them tomorrow, so that'll be great. Uh, so let's get back into it here. So here are all the accessories for the GoPro. Uh, I have the LCD backpack, the battery backpack. I brought some different housings, uh, one that had, doesn't have the extended back door on it, and one here where I do have an extended back door so I can use those accessories. Uh, just a little lens cap for when it's bare, a uh, little Joby Gorillapod, tons of extra GoPro batteries, charger for the Hero 4, charging cables, and this is a spare battery for the gimbal that I'm using right now. And this is the charging cable for the gimbal. Um, then over here, I have a Pelican case sort of wallet. And this has all of my micro SD cards for the GoPro. And then I have another one here for my compact flash cards for the, uh, for the XF300. So there we go. Moving right along, I have an on-camera light here from ICANN. Um, it's their 144 LED. Uh, I'm not sure how much I'm going to use it, but I like to have it on there just in case. Um, so you can turn it on. It's nice and bright. It's by color. You can dial them in um, and change the color. So I'm not sure what the lighting's going to be like in there, but this way I have the option to strap this on the camera and throw some extra light on the interviews if I need to. Um, 
I have a little lens cleaning kit. It has some uh, some cloths and some lens pens and other stuff like that in there. These are always good to have. Uh, this right here is actually the top plate from my uh, photography and cinema gearbox cage. Um, and I realized I could take this off and use a, a little Israeli arm and two of these uh, cold shoe mounts. And I'm going to attach this to the side of the tripod. And I'm actually going to be able to use this to mount both of my wireless receivers on there because I don't have enough points on the camera. This is going to be used for the light and I really don't want to put a whole lot of strain on this quarter 20 attachment right here. So attaching this directly, if you look here, directly to one of these little side bolts on the tripod, uh, I think it'll work out for me. And I came up with that just real quick as I was packing, I realized I could do that. Um, then of course I have plenty of batteries uh, for the XF300, the XF300 charger, and then I have my Sennheiser headphones here. Uh, I absolutely love these. Let's see what kind are they. They are the HD 280 Pros. So I have those and I'm going to be using those to monitor my sound when I get everything set up. Um, so I managed to get all of that here in two bags. Uh, so my first bag that I have here is my low pro backpack. Uh, I usually use this for my 5D um, and all the lenses, but I was able to cram a ton of stuff into here and I might be bringing this with me and wearing it on the floor. Um, and I also brought uh, my petrol camera bag for the XF300. Uh, it's got plenty of space in there. And I'll probably be carrying this on the floor as well, just to bring the, uh, the XF300 and all the stuff it needs um, in there. Uh, so, so that covers the acquisition uh, in terms of cameras and batteries and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but then I, of course, I'm also going to be editing on site because I want to get these videos out to you guys as quick as possible. So let me real quick just show you guys what I've got going on. So over here I have my little makeshift uh, edit suite here. Uh, I have a 15 inch MacBook Pro that I'm going to be doing all my editing on. Um, I have a Transcend card reader over here that'll take compact flash and micro SD. Um, I have two hard drives. These are both one terabyte drives. Uh, I have field drive B and field drive A. And these are literally just mirrors of one another, so I'll dump to one and then back up to the other to make sure I have duplicates of everything. Uh, if we come over here, this is my sort of battery station. I have a charging station for the Sony L batteries. That's the batteries that the, uh, the LED light takes. This is another little charger for that. Um, then here, I have a rechargeable AA battery charger and tons of PowerX Imedion AA batteries. All of the audio stuff requires these. Um, and you can chew through AA batteries really quick uh, with those microphones. And then here, I absolutely love these. These are Anchor Astro Pro 10,000 uh, batteries. And these are used for like charging cell phones. But the reason I love these guys is they have two ports out for USB, but they also have a barrel plug output here um, where you can connect a standard barrel connector and you can switch between, let's see if you can see here, you can switch between 12 volts and 9 volts. So I can set it to 12 volts and actually I can run the connector out of that and I can keep this charger in my backpack and I can run this charger off of one of these or of course I can charge my phone or anything else that needs USB while I'm there um, and then let's see last but not least tons and tons of business cards I hope I brought enough I plan on really handing these things out to pretty much anyone who will talk to me and will take one um, so there we go that's my edit setup and this is pretty much my camera and interview setup and 
And that's about it. So I'm gonna get everything all set up and ready to go. And uh, we're gonna start shooting some interviews and checking out some great gear tomorrow morning at NAB 2015. So stay tuned for those videos. Thanks guys.